You want to become a software engineer in test or a QA engineer, but you are not sure if you are good enough. No worries, there are thousands of people like you who ask the same question. On this video, I will explain what qualities you need to have in order to become one, as I've taught hundreds of people and I do know what is needed. But let me ask you not to put any comments below until you watch this video till the end, because then you're gonna see a big picture of what I wanted to explain, not a partial one. By the way, patience will benefit you quite a bit, as well as other qualities we are about to discuss. Don't forget to hit the like button below and let's get started! You gotta be listening to me if you want to be successful. You won't believe, but there is a huge difference between listening and hearing. On average, about 1 out of 15 people can listen to you even though they can say, I can hear you. And it's not because people are deaf. Most people are into their own mind, thinking of something else, and can only partially listen to you. And here's an easy example. I've told all of our students in the past that they need to record their interviews on audio, so I could listen to them later and give them feedback about it. Guess how many people did it so far? Only a few. I do have about a dozen years of experience in IT. And I do know what do interviewers need to hear and how exactly you can deliver that information. So let's just follow the guide. Let me ask you a question. Doubling or tripling your salary from 40 to 100, 120,000 a year is worth paying attention and, and taking a lot of notes? I guess most people do not think so. You might hate me for simplicity, but the second quality is very easy to guess. It is motivation. You need to be charged up to rock your existing world, and not every person is ready for it, because you gotta step out of your comfort zone. You need to be ready to spend 5 months plus on learning things that you have never learned before, including programming languages, and it won't take you a month or two. It's honestly almost a half a year in order to be ready for an interview if you want to change your life. Do you remember how you've learned to ride a bike? This is going to be quite similar but much more challenging, as you'll have to learn how to drive many different types of vehicles. And in our case, those are going to be programming languages, tools, frameworks, etc. But no worries, the steps are already written. What you need to do is to simply have motivation to follow them. But you won't believe that most people, for most people, it is actually challenging. My favorite, personality. I've said it hundreds of times already. People want to work with people, not with robots. Unless those robots look very attractive. Every single one of you is different. And all of you guys have different characters. Most of them you probably don't like. But that's okay, as there are thousands of companies that are looking for different types of people. And it's just a matter of time how soon you will find a company that likes your type of person or personality. And a good example of it would be myself, as I have went through hundreds of interviews with the different people. Some interviewers were on fire just like me, and they would hire me right away. On the other hand, I had interviews with the very quiet people, and one of the guys would simply ask me questions and would not even smile if I would try to make a joke. That guy would simply write down all my answers, and he made me feel like we are not a good match right away. And this is also fine, because you cannot be a stranger that everyone likes. You just need to spend some time in order to find a company that is looking for a person just like you. Just like on Tinder. Dedication or time to study. When people sign up for the bootcamp, I always specify my expectations right away so they would know how to succeed. And the first expectation is always a time to study, which is at least 3 hours per day. The more the better. I've seen a lot of people in the past who didn't seem to be good engineers first, but because of the dedication, they're making 100k or even more right now. So if you don't have one of the qualities we've talked about in the past, or even all of them, but if you are a dedicated person, I have a phrase for you. Hard work beats talent when talent doesn't work hard. Remember that, because I've seen people who couldn't speak English, who did not have a lot of qualities we've talked about. Now they're making more than $100,000 per year. Questioning? 
Before we get into it, let me give you a quick advice. Don't ever be afraid asking questions. Because if you will, number one, you will miss out on opportunities. Number two, your friends will not like you because you will not follow their conversation and you will actually feel dumb by the end of the day. Now let's get into it. Most of people are afraid to ask questions even when they pay thousands of dollars for the bootcamp. They all have different reasons. Some of them are afraid to hurt others. Some of them are afraid to feel dumb. Some of them are afraid to waste other people's time when they ask questions. But honestly, by the end of the day, nothing is more expensive than a missed opportunity. So don't forget to always ask questions to fully understand a topic or a conversation we are going through or you are going through. English. In order to become an engineer, you need to have a conversational level of English, at least if you're working for the US-based company. But don't be afraid if your English is broken, because with a dedication and some extra programming skills, you can compensate your English, and I'll talk about it in a second. One of our ex-students could only understand about 15% of all of the materials that I was sharing during the lessons or during the webinars. But before she go in the course, she asked me the question, can I really become a QA engineer with that level of broken English? And I said, you know what? It is possible, but you will have to be very dedicated. You will have to learn JavaScript so you would know it better than your actual English. And she ate it. During that time, she had a six months young baby and she would stay up till 3 a.m. at night learning and translating every single phrase she saw during a webinar. When she would ask questions during the webinars, neither me or other mentors could understand her question. But with a lot of dedication, after about seven months, she was able to land a job as a QA automation engineer working for, in a very technical team automating APIs, if you know what I'm talking about. But she was only one of the few people with so much dedication and with such a poor English, so no hard expectations from yourself, unless you work hard. The most important thing that everyone needs when they decide to change career is experience. You can find a lot of schools, a lot of boot camps, courses that will explain to you a theory. But the goal that everyone looks for is not a theory, it is experience working in a real tech environment. Experience going through the processes on daily, weekly, monthly, quarterly, or even annual basis. Because when you learn all of the theory you need to know, and you go for an interview, you will get asked about your experience, about challenges you had, about people you worked with. And if you did not have experience, you will not be able to answer those questions. Just like if I would ask you now to tell me about difficult situations you had in college, about most challenging projects you had in college, about most toxic people you have been working with or you had them as your classmates in the college. If you did not go to the college, you will not be able to answer those questions, right? Same thing applies to any software jobs or software experiences. And you cannot fake it. I promise you that. As an engineering manager who interviewed hundreds of people, it is very easy to catch. So if you guys have any questions or you would like to get actual experience working in a tech environment, I would recommend you to hit the like button below, subscribe to our channel, and also read the description below this video because I'm going to leave a lot of useful information that will help you to gain all of those qualities.